Young people in the heartland enjoy sports of all kinds. Competition from football and baseball fields to basketball and tennis courts and track and field meets is some of the best to be enjoyed. Now there's another sport whose popularity is growing at an exponential pace. Sports shooting has become one of the most popular extracurricular activities among young people in recent years. From the Heartland had an opportunity this week to see it in action. Just to the southeast of Kismet, Kansas, you'll find the team representing USD 483 Southwestern Heights blasting away at clay pigeons in preparation for next month's state competition in Wichita. Some teams shoot trap, some shoot trap skeet, some shoot sporting clays, some shoot five stand. We compete in trap and skeet. That's head coach Brian Garrison. He and two assistants, all volunteers, teach a group of 13 junior and senior high young people the finer points of competitive shooting. He calls the sport a fantastic way to teach young people about marksmanship and firearm responsibility. Gun safety, that'll stay with them forever, even if they, and I don't think any of them are going to quit shooting. They're, they're kind of hooked on it now, but, you know, it'll be a lifelong deal to teach their kids and, and people coming up. The growth of the sport has been phenomenal. According to the Kansas State High School Clay Target League, last year there were nearly 50,000 athletes and more than 1,600 shooting teams in Kansas alone. Garrison says the numbers are even higher in 2024. Okay, okay, first five, let's go. As they march to the firing line, the competition gets serious. Although it can get stressful at times, and the competition really gets to your head. It's the it's the thrill that you get to beat your own like you, you get to beat your friends in it. Fifteen year old Grace Roberts joined the Southwestern Heights team when it was established a couple of years ago. She says learning to pace herself has been the biggest challenge. I am a fast shooter. It's, it's a really bad habit of mine where like I see it and I shoot it, and a lot of the times I either hit it or I miss it, and. So I've worked on that a lot, and I've definitely made a lot of improvements since then. Teammate Reese Garrison says clearing his mind to zero in on the targets is essential. I always have one earbud in with music going, and then I have just a regular earplug in that's kind of like halfway out so I can hear everything going wrong around me. But if it gets really bad and I'm really off focus, I'll put two earbuds in and blare music and it drowns everybody else out. Right now, the 15-year-old is only thinking about performing his best at the state competition. He says he doesn't want a repeat of last year. I had a good round, and then I had a bad round, and I had another good round, I had a bad round this year. I don't want, I don't want no bad rounds. Just keep it all consistent. Akira, Reagan, Luke, Titus, and Cole. Those are the five in this squad. So you think, Coach, are they ready for state? Yeah, they're ready. They're even ready for national. Of course, it'll be some of first time, so it'll be a little overwhelming when we first get there, but makes them better. That's how you grow. Next group ready? I reckon. Reporting for Great Plains Christian Radio, I'm Delvin Kinsler. <laughs>